Hello and welcome to this new blog post where we will have a focus on process mining and cost accounting. And because this will be a bit um, a longer uh, topic um, that I cannot cover in one part, therefore I separated this um, blog post series in a couple of parts. And today we will start with um, the first element of process mining in, in the Power Platform. So here's a short agenda. So we will first have a look at uh, Microsoft process mining. Then we will investigate what's task mining as an element of process mining. And then we will have an outlook um, what we are going to do in the next part. So let's start first with an overview of process mining. So the main value of process mining is um, yeah, to increase um, business efficiency, reduce risks. For example, if people use applications they should not use. And then of course, the main topic here is to get insights and recommendations on business processes. Yeah. I listed you here in total four different elements yeah, that I consider important when it comes to process mining. And the first point is of course to optimize business processes, to standardize them, um, to get rid of inefficiencies and yeah, to reduce costs. So that's the first bullet point. Then we have here process automation. So that's what I'm already mentioned that we can analyze our tasks and then have a look at possibilities to automate parts of it. Then we have an audit compliance element. Why is that? Well, because you might identify risks. So the use of uh, non-approved software, for example, um, that are used in, in specific business processes and that you want to um, reduce or eliminate. Yeah? And finally, um, also when it comes to fixed cost allocations and cost accounting, that's something I want to investigate, but in a later part. So if you want to get started with uh, process mining, then you typically start in Power Automate in the process advisor. And there is a big button here, start here. If you click that, you will see this uh, yeah, new form or window where you see on the left hand side, um, process mining, where we analyze data, mass data, for example, from an ERP system. And on the right hand side, you see what is called task mining, where you analyze individual processes to identify um, things that can be automated. I listed it here in a different um, view. So on the left hand side, we analyze data from, for example, an ERP or CRM system. On the right hand side, it's, the focus is really on individual processes um, to identify weaknesses and um, potentials to automate things. And then here at the bottom, the time to value, that's something yeah, we, you can discuss about um, how long it takes, but in general process mining might have a longer time to value compared to task mining. Okay, and then if you open the process advisor, then there is something called um, MineIt, the MineIt desktop app. Yeah? Um, that's something that allows you to do a deep dive into what you analyzed. That's something we are not going to do today, but in um, the next blog post, where we will investigate what's inside and what you can do with that. But now let's come to task mining, the focus of um, this post. And as I, as I mentioned, um, what we need to do is we need to do a recording and there are a couple of steps involved yeah, to make and analyze this recording. The first thing is you need the Power Automate desktop app installed. Then you make the recording, you can edit it, then you can analyze a process and then you can do something. Yeah, for example, automate a step. And of course, this is something that is a continuous process where you optimize um, what is recorded in your system. Um, here are some screenshots, yeah? um, how to make a recording, how to edit it, yeah? and then you can analyze things in, in a yeah, Power BI 
like um, dashboard directly from Power Automate. And then of course you can directly from Power Automate start to automate things. For example, to download uh, invoice attachments and so on. And of course, I don't want to show you that here only on slides, but in my system. So let's um, switch to my demo environment and have a look at how this uh, works all together. Okay, so we are here in Power Automate and I'm starting here in the process advisor um, where I recorded already um, something for vendor invoices, yeah? where I wanted to analyze my vendor invoice recordings. You would typically start here and then uh, select here recording, give this thing a name and a description. And what you get then is some, um, if I click on all processes, something like this. Yeah? So here you see details, you see shared with, you can see recordings and here I have already four. And you would then start a new recording the first time you're doing that. But because I have already done that, let's try to um, do a new recording. And uh, this will be done, as I mentioned, um, with this Power Automate um, yeah, app that you need to install. And that can make then screen recordings of what you're doing on, on your computer. Here in my demo, we might see a couple of uh, pop-up windows and warnings. Um, that things are not correctly recorded. Why? Because I'm uh, using a recording tool to share the screen here with you, um, which is not perfect for this recorder, but let's see how we can go through. So here we start the recording and uh, maybe, yeah, let's open here um, my mailbox in Gmail. Yeah. So now you see the messages that we get. Yeah. Um, so from Gmail, I just want to download something. Yeah. So let's download um, this invoice that we have here and then we can close it. Yeah. And then the next step would be we go to Dynamics 365. And here we open the pending window invoice form yeah. So I'm not caring much if uh, my recording and all the buttons and these things are recorded correctly. I just want to show you how, how it works in general. So we go here into um, a new invoice recording. Then we enter here the invoice account, a number, um, maybe a day. And then we add here a line. Yeah. And um, yeah, just select one of the procurement categories, and that's all what you what you should be familiar with if you use um, Dynamics 365. Huh? Okay, so here now we add our attachment, and from there we can upload our file. And if I'm browsing here. Um, maybe under downloads, then we have here the invoice. And then this one should be uploaded and become visible. Um, so let's close that. And the last step in, in our process is then, of course, um, to submit this invoice to the workflow. Yeah. So I just say submit. I don't give a comment and just say submit. So this would be a very basic process of uh, recording things here. Now, once I'm finished, I can say, okay, I'm finished. And what happens then? And that happens a bit in background. So let me show you what's going on. So here you can see um, the recording is saved. This will take a couple of minutes and um, we don't wait for that. But I would rather show you um, what I recorded before. So in Power Automate, yeah, you can see all of the recordings that I made. Yeah. This one was the one I just did a couple of minutes ago. It's not analyzed. So the first time you come here, you have to analyze things, um, which will take a while. 
And once this is done, you can then have a look at the analytics. And the analytics, um, this is basically a Power BI application. Um, you see here the icon and then different tiles that help you to understand what's going on in your process. Yeah? So on the right hand side, you can see the different variants. I just have three um, analyzed. In the middle, you can see um, yeah, the process, how it works. Yeah? And then you see here some small icons and these small icons, they indicate um, process steps that you can automate. Yeah? And to automate things, you directly click on automate activities and then a new flow is open for you. Yeah? And um, on the right hand side of this flow, once uh, it is completely opened, you get indicators. Yeah? You get uh, hints what can be automated. Uh, and then of course your job is to design this and yeah to automate uh, the whole process and improve it so that uh, it runs smoother has less risk included and so on okay so that's it um, how this uh, process um, advisor works for task mining uh, let us now go back um, to my PowerPoint for some important notes and remarks that you should be aware of when you want to make use of this um, tool. Okay, so here are some considerations that you need to take into account if you want to make use of this task mining. Um, the first thing is, depending on the country, region and the regulations that apply there, um, you might not be able to um, use this task mining. Why? Because maybe there's a labor council that needs to approve things before you can do that. Maybe there's a law or regulation that prevents you from doing that. So be aware that um, on the one hand side we have tools to analyze things in yeah much detail, but on the other hand side also consider the regulations uh, and that it might not be allowed. Then of course, people might feel uncomfortable. Yeah, they might might feel supervised if you're doing that. So you have to talk a lot with your people, with your team, um, to give them confidence that this is not for um, cutting their jobs or something, but to improve the general um, processes in your company. Also remember, and that's what we saw. It takes time. Yeah, making this recording, analyzing the process um, takes a while. But once it's through, you really get nice indicators what to automate and how to improve things. So that's really good. On the other hand side, um, and that's something we will cover next time, is we have no possibility to see the analytics in the Power BI workspaces. Yeah? So if you use Power BI, um, you can create workspaces, but you cannot um, yeah, add task minings um, to to this Power BI workspaces. That's different from process mining, but that's uh, part of the next blog post series. Then also, when you deal with task mining, you cannot open them in the Minit desktop app. Yeah? And also, if you are working with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations, you might know that we have task recordings. And these task recordings are stored as .axtr files. They currently cannot be analyzed with uh, this uh, process advisor but uh, Microsoft team is knowing about this shortcoming and uh, they are working on it. So it might be um, that we will have this ability soon. And if you want to have more information um, then you can have a look at this uh, Microsoft Learn site where you can get a good overview of task mining. Okay so what are we going to do in the next part? Well, in the next blog post, we will have a look at um, the process mining, yeah? the left hand side of this screen, where we analyze data from yeah, uh, ERP, CRM system, yeah? um, and then where we can analyze the data in the Minit desktop app yeah? for a deeper analysis of what's going on in our processes. Okay, but as I said, 
For today we are finished with this first introduction. I hope you like it and found it interesting and uh, of course I'm looking forward to seeing you then in the next blog post.